where is the anger in this debate? Why is it so civil? It should be pissed the fuck off, but it's very civil. Yeah, this is a thing that I'm, I'm really like, I'm just not entirely sure about how, how to deal with this because I don't feel, I don't personally feel really mad at anyone. I feel mostly mad at politicians for not acting, but I kind of understand like the whole psychological thing and there's just nobody to be mad at at this point. Um, unless people are lying. Know. I'm kind of mad at, at the CEOs. Like, like, you know, people say that like they don't, nobody would build something they know is going to kill everyone, right? Like, no, they said their thing can kill everyone and they're still building it. Yeah. I'm kind of mad at them. But I think many of these CEOs, they, okay, this is going to sound very insulting to them maybe, but they, they, they tend to be a little narcissistic. So, so I think, I think they really believe that, yes, if anybody else is going to build the AGI, it could kill the world, but not me, right? Like, not me. I'm just this perfect CEO of, of, of an AI company. I'm never, I'll never make the, the dangerous thing. Like this, this, this sense of pride. Not me. Even though they know they, you know, they haven't solved alignment, they haven't solved interpretability. They don't know what this thing does or how <laughs> yeah. to control it. Like, and, and, and they, they the, label that optimism, right? It's called optimism to know this thing can kill you, know you can't control it, know you don't understand it, and you want to keep working on it and put more resources into it, and that is called optimism. Yeah, it, it is. It is maddening. It is actually like. There's a lot, of, a lot of reason to be mad. How do you manage the emotional side of it? Because it can be hard at times. Yeah, it's it, it can be tough. It's it's true. Like um, I think when I first internalized it, there was just a lot of grief to be processed. Um, I think it is very similar to coming to terms with a you know a very bad diagnosis. Like if you have a some sort of cancer, you're not entirely sure whether it's going to kill you. You're not entirely yeah. sure like how long you have. But there's this real risk. And your future is really different now. Worrying about AI risk can be a lonely thing. Most people will probably, I think you'll probably recognize it. Many people who you're talking to, with, they, 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 they won't emotionally understand what it is you're going through if you're talking about, you know, you're internalizing existential risk from AI and what, 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 that, what that feels like. And I think it's really important to, to have like this group of people who are concerned about the same thing and who can make each other enthusiastic about working together. That to, that to me is like also what Pause AI is about. It's about a community of volunteers who work together to spend their time on being productive uh, in order to make these risks a little smaller.